everyone, it's Mrs Magic Moila. I just wanted to show you this mobile. This is what we're going to make today out of the fishes that we were playing with yesterday. Do you remember we drew fishes onto milk bottle plastic and then coloured them in and then cut them out? We made lots of them. And I think you were playing with them yesterday on the ground with a paper clip on the mouth that you could get with a magnet on a string and go fishing and I'm pretty sure what would happen after a while of them being all over your floor mum and dad would say do you know what can you put them away now it's too much mess and that's when you're going to say mum and dad can we make a mobile this is what you do with them you punch holes see you punch holes in them in the top and the bottom and I'll show you why and you need some sticks let me show you my sticks you get sticks, so that you need six sticks actually, and a couple of CDs, and some elastic bands, and some sellotape, and then we can make our mobile. And I reckon this one's got 11 fish on it. You can do it with 11 fish. Anyway, what you do, you get CDs, and these have to be ones that mum and dad say that you can use. Don't get them up by yourself, you'll be in so much trouble. These are ones that would came free with the newspaper, and I didn't want them, so I kept them, because if you put them together back to back like that it ends up shiny on both sides oh, amazing hey and if you don't need them anymore it's nice to make something so you make a loop of string and you put that through the cds like that see and you need a cross and to make the cross you have two sticks and you put elastic bands over them and then you turn it round and then you put elastic bands this end elastic bands that end so it stays there by itself and then you would tie on a string and you will need help that's where mum and dad will help you you tie on your fish because you've got the fish with a hole you can just do a piece of string and tie your own knot in the string and the thing on the bottom is you're going to make little weights to make them look really good and to help it be more stable and a really simple idea for doing the knots you can do use different things. You can use shells. I can actually chop up a bit of milk bottle to make some tiny little holes. And I like these because they look like air bubbles, don't they? I want to do lots of them coming down. But this one here, I thought you'd like. I've just used a treasury tag like this and a piece of foil. And all you do, because glitzy looks good, it catches the light, just screw it up. And make sure that the bit at the one end of the treasury tag is in there. Screw it up, screw it up, screw it up, screw it up. It's fun screwing things up. Don't need any glue, don't need any sellotape. Just squeeze it. And then when it's done like that, I'm going to put it there. So it's hanging off my fish. Isn't that the cutest thing you ever saw? I love that. So let's finish off what we were doing here. With the CD here, I am going to put the cross underneath the CD and each end has got string tied on it. Can you see that? It's quite tricky to do, but you can do it. And this loop is going to go right around the cross into the middle. Like that. Oh, I'm getting stuck. Right around the cross to the middle. And then that loopy bit is going to go through the holes of the CD. OK, here we go. One, two, three and through the holes. Do, 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 do. There we go. I like this. It's a good invention. You see? And that's going to form the basis of everything that happens from here. If you want two more crosses, and you tie one this end, one that end, and these can just have fish on by themselves. So you're going to end up with two crosses, each with four fish. Can you see? One fish coming off each end. Another cross here with another four fish. And one there, and one there, and one a great long one right down the middle with the weights on the end. And that one with the weights on the end <coughs> is very important because otherwise it all kind of goes squiggly wiggly and you want it to kind of be stable. So I have ended up with four fish there and one tied on the middle, which makes five. Four fish there, another one tied on the middle, makes another five, which makes ten. One either side, eleven, twelve. And one all the way down, 13. So I have 13 little fish. And I'm sure you must have got about 13 little fish. And a few sticks, a bit of sellotape, some beads or some shells, something with a hole in, some treasury tags, 
hole puncher, you can make yourself a mobile. Have fun. Hang it in your bathroom. It's going to look really cute. Bye.